when she popped up in the show, I thought, I know this person. I'm familiar with this person. Because when you look back at the Sex Pistols, when you look back at Vivian Westwood and that whole period of time, she seems to be there all the time. But I realized when I saw it that I knew absolutely nothing about her. Was that one of the kind of drives to do this show, to be able to, I don't know, shed a light on somebody who is so well known and so little known at the same time? I think, yeah, for a lot of the female characters, I think what Craig and Danny did so well was weave them back into the story. They're such an integral part of the forming of the pistols. You know, Jordan was effectively the spokesperson, the walking embodiment of sex, the shop, before the pistols, before the formation of the band. Um, and this movement was bubbling away well before these four incredible men. But they, well, boys, um, but they, you know, they certainly put, us, put, put the movement on the map for the rest of time. Um, but yeah, it was. It was important to play someone like Jordan. But it was also important for us to to right a couple of wrongs in the way that the women from this time have been portrayed previously. Are you holding Especially this young lady. Oh my gosh, it's stunning. So I'm crashing guys. Speaking of speaking of stunning, I mean the look that she had almost defined a generation. That must have been quite a morning when you go for your makeup test and they get your hair right up. I mean, the, the, the plastic sort of coat on the first episode. I mean, talk, talk me through how that was. You've been in many different roles before, but that is something that is something far out there. Absolutely. I would spent so much time looking at Jordan's pictures and clothes and makeup and, uh, you know, video footage of her from that time. Um, seeing myself fully made up was quite... Um, I don't know. I just all of a sudden couldn't see myself. It bleached my eyebrows for the first time. And I know a lot of people comment on how different I look now. But I mean, can you imagine for me? Like, I've woke up every day of my life with brown eyebrows and then all of a sudden I was like, hey, this is a person. Um, but yeah, it was, it was amazing. And honestly, it did a lot of the work for me. I, I needed to be this, like, confident woman commanding the room. And I mean, you walk on set with, you know, a bare chest and a PVC coat. Like, a lot of people are going to either avert their eyes or do as you say. So. And we're here to celebrate Pistol tonight, but of course, House of the Dragons on its way. Is that bringing up some kind of old nostalgic memories at the moment from when that all kicked off with Game of Thrones? Um, not particularly, but I just can't wait to watch it. I feel like it's quite... I, I feel like it's a completely separate experience to the one of being on Game of Thrones. Even though it's the same story, I'm just excited to be able to watch an epic series like this and not have any kind of attachment to it. I'm um, just watching it as a fan, you know? So, uh, yeah, very excited.